Welcome to Land Musings. Today I will be taking you through my recent purchase, the Absinthe Studio Riel Tote, which was heavily influenced by Abby C and Job's journal here on YouTube. Did I need this tote? No, I never need another tote. But I'm always really successful at trying to find a reason for needing a tote. Um, and in this case, it was so I could lug my journaling items around the house. I also do have the Superior Labour Petite Tote. Um, if you'd like to see the video of that unboxing, I'll just pop the clip here. Uh, but for this video, I will be doing a size comparison so you can see the difference between the size of the Real Tote versus the Superior Labour Petite Tote. I was tossing up between getting the Real Tote Classic in the green, which is like a khaki colour, or this natural tote with the leather bottom. But I did end up going with this one uh, because my Superior Labour Petite Tote does have the khaki painted at the bottom, which you'll see in just a moment. Currently in my Superior Labour tote, I have three pencil cases, um, which is, I guess, a bit excessive, but um, I need to put my pens and textures somewhere. So that is what I'm using my Superior Labour tote for. I'll just remove those pencil cases for now for the comparison. Okay, I don't want to ruin the structure <laughs> of the Superior Labour tote. But I think from this comparison, they are almost the same width, but definitely not the same height. The Real Tote is definitely taller and perhaps a little bit wider. Okay, yeah, you can definitely see the size difference now that I've opened up the Real Tote a little. There is your comparison, but just to test out the height again, I'm going to put the tallest pencil case in my Real Tote. And that touches the very top. And in the Superior Labour Petite Tote, there is a bit of overhang. So yeah, the Real Tote is definitely taller. I think the Real Tote will do just fine for carrying around my daily planner and journals, especially since my Techo Kaigi planner lineup for 2023 has a couple more notebooks than in previous years. I'm just going to pop my current daily planners and journals in the Real Tote now just to try it out for size and make sure that everything fits. So first off we have my 5 year Hobonichi in the A6 and my Superior Labour Standard TN for my Memory Keeper. My Work Planner which is another standard camel traveler's notebook. Also my Hobonichi Weeks, which is my everyday carry personal planner. They do all fit, but it is a tight fit. Um, I guess my work planner isn't really necessary because that will just be staying at work. So I'll take that one out. And now we have a lot more space. All right, now I'm going to pop some stationery and tools in these little front slots, which should be fun. We'll start with my Pinko scissors. That fits perfectly. Just for comparison as well, this is my medium Delphonics pouch, which I'm using for a majority of my stationery. What I'm going to do is pop the pens and markers that I'll need for my current planning and journaling setup. 
just so you know I don't have to lug all of the stationery around the house unnecessarily. So we have my Pentel Energel Cleaner in a 0.4 which I am currently using for my Hobonichi Weeks. And then I have my Tombow Fudonosuke brush pen. The two mild liner colours that I am using at the moment this muted pink and green shade. Just gonna readjust these to look a bit prettier for the video and photo that I'll take for the thumbnail later. I also have a couple of these Crayola thick textures or markers as you would call it in the US or everywhere else. <laughs> And I'm just going to pop this traveler's pocket size notebook in this pocket just to make sure it fits. And it does, which is great and good to know. Not sure I'll use it for that purpose, but I'll leave it there for now. I also have this smaller Delphonics pouch. Yes, I know, I have lots of pouches. You know what? Maybe I'm going to add pouches to my no buy list for 2023. I think so. Inside here I have some washi sample cards, which I'll just maybe pop in the same pocket. Nice, love that. I think that's a good spot for the washi samples. And I have this glue tape that I use quite a bit from Muji. I'll just pop that inside the tote. I also have my Galen leather fountain pen case, which I mean, I'm gonna try to pop it inside. It'll be a tight fit, but it'd be nice to be able to carry that around. And I have my Everyday Explorers rubber stamps, which I intend to use daily for my five-year Hobonichi. Oof, that is a tight fit. Let's see, I think maybe, <laughs> what if I carry the real tote around with my small Delphonics pouch? Yeah, no, I don't like that. Maybe I'll remove the Galen leather fountain pen case. I guess I don't need to carry around all of them. I'll pop these stamps in here and maybe I'll just keep one fountain pen in one of the slots in the front. Yeah, I think that works. And then I don't have to lug around five fountain pens for no reason. You know what? There's a spare slot, so I'm going to pop in a second fountain pen. I'll just shuffle these Crayola markers to the left and then keep the fountain pens next to each other. Yeah, that works. I have two Pentel Energel cleaners, um, the other one is in a 0.3, so I'll pop that one in here as well, and so they can sit next to each other. So two Pentel Energel cleaners and two fountain pens. Okay, 
I think that looks good. I'm just going to take out the notebook and readjust these washi tapes so they look nice and pretty. Not that it will stay that way, but we've got to start off strong, right? <laughs> Okay, and I'm really happy with that. So we've got my Memory Keeper, my Hobonichi Weeks Everyday Carry, my 5 Year Hobonichi Journal, Everyday Explorer's Rubber Stamps, and my Muji Correction Tape in the main pocket. There's still this back pocket not really sure what I'll use that for but um, I think we're done I'm really looking forward to using this thanks for joining me in unboxing my real tote and setting her up as always if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one thank you and bye